So I was at Home Depot the other day, and this was a discussion that was going on amongst a few few tool enthusiasts there in the Rigid section at Home Depot. This is one of the Octane batteries here. Rigid has three batteries that are out there in the market right now. Two are current models, and then this is the Octane, which is a discontinued battery, but is still available out on homedepot.com, and it's also available at many Home Depots, along with some of the tools in the Octane line. This video is going to kind of go through the differences, the differences of the three batteries because there is some nuances. You've got kind of a regular a rigid battery, then you've got the Octane, which is kind of cool because it has Bluetooth capability to communicate with the tool and to allow you to be able to see the tool and the tool, uh, the battery, how much life it's got left, and kind of keep track of it on a job site type of thing. It's really kind of an answer to the high end Milwaukee batteries. Then they came up with the Max Output battery. That's the new one here for 2021. And let's, we're going to just dig into all three of those and give you a little idea of how the compatibility and different things, what works best back and forth. So let's dig into that right now. First, one important thing with any of the 18 volt rigid batteries is that they will work on any of the 18 volt tools. So if the battery is a brushed tool, the, any of the batteries will work. A brushless tool, any of the battery, octane, any of the batteries will work. There's going to be some performance differences based on the combination that you choose between an octane battery and a max output tool, brushless tool whatever so they're, they're they're just keep in mind though the batteries if you have an older tool and you've got a new battery it will work it just may not give you the optimal configuration but it will work so let's start kind of with the base model batteries from rigid these uh this is a couple of four amp hour batteries here again available at home depot links will be in the description below so you can check that out now this particular battery will work equally well with brushed tools or brushless tools or octane. You're not going to get any of the big benefits that you would get from the octane battery or the max output battery, but it will it will function in any of the tools. It's not going to communicate with the the octane tools like an octane battery or the max output battery would. So there's just a little nuance difference when it comes to that. But it's a compact size. They're lighter weight. They're using different cells in this than they are in the other battery, the other the other current one, a max output battery. So you're going to have a different expectation on the outputs from this battery. Again, it fits any of the rigid 18 volt tools. So if you buy a tool and you have this battery, you're not out of luck. You can still get out there and do your job. Now we're going to jump to the Octane. Now this particular, the one I have is a three amp hour. This is a pair of six amp hours. And again, we'll put the, the link in the description below. The cool thing about the Octane batteries is that this was the first line of batteries and tools, the Octane series from Rigid that communicated and talked back and forth. It has Bluetooth technology so that everything can base, be kept track of on the job site. It can tell you when the batteries are low. So there's really some cool Bluetooth functionality that is in the Octane, but is not in the max output. Then this, this particular battery, when you're into the Octane, they have a different cell in this one than the kind of standard version. So you're going to have different output capabilities. Some of that output, there's only going to be so many watts that come out of these batteries, but the, the speed in which it can discharge can vary depending upon the cells that are in the batteries. And the Octane is going to be something that the tool, when it's under demand, can pull more more uh, power from the battery if it needs it. And if it doesn't need it, it doesn't pull it out as much. So that's the, the cool thing about batteries and tools kind of talking and working together. You're gonna, if you look on the website, you're gonna see where it talks about more runtime than a 1.5 amp hour battery. That's really because you're going from a 1.5 to, in this case, a six amp hour battery. So yes, 1.5 times four is six. So you're going to have four plus. So there's some things that might be a little confusing, but the overall thing is when you jump to an Octane battery, it's going to work very well with the Octane tools. It's also going to work with the brushless tools and give you an advantage with the brushless tools. It's going to work with the brushed tools also, but it's not gonna be communicating or doing some of the things with the brushed tools. So your best bet is Octane batteries if you have the Octane tools. If you're just brushed tools, it's probably not worth the extra money to go find the Octane batteries. Finally, the new battery that's come out that is has replaced the Octane is the Max Output series of batteries. This is two of the four amp hour batteries. And again, the batteries fit on all the tools. But what's kind of cool is the Max Output batteries are paired with brushless tools that have come out and they work together, sync up, kind of communicate a little bit and such so that they can give you the optimal power and the optimal 
runtime. So it's really kind of a nice combination here. You're getting new technology with the cells in there. You're getting the ability to have more power, more output when you need it. And yet when you don't, you're not going to be pulling the draw as much. So it's going to last longer. They're saying that you can get it can unlock up to 20% more power with these batteries over some of the previous generations. So it's really kind of an exciting thing. The max output batteries can give you the advantage with the brushless tools, with the octane tools. Brush tools, they're still a good battery, but it, there isn't as much noticeable difference when you're talking brushed tools. Another advantage of the max output batteries is the size and weight. They're not as heavy as one would expect. They're lighter and a little bit, uh, you know, a little less bulky than the Octane. And yet they're giving you more power, slightly more power than the Octane batteries. So overall, if you've got some of the Octane tools and you really like the ability to connect to those tools with your, your mobile device so you can see battery levels and such, the max output will allow you to do that with your Octane tools so you could maybe step away from Octane batteries if you can't find them anymore. Otherwise, Octane is still out there a little bit, a little getting tougher to find, but they are out there. The new technology is the brushless and the max output. That's if you're wanting the cat's meow, the top of the line, that is what Ridge has got for you, and it's going to be able to do everything you needed to do. We'll put links again in the description below so you can go check these out from Home Depot. This is John Young with The Weekend Handyman. Thank you for watching. For more tips and how-to videos, go to weekendhandyman.com.